one day a couple went to the monastery and talked to the monk that their relationship is not that good. They always call each other, fight both verbally and physically sometimes, and they need good quality and long-lasting relationship advices. The monk raised his head up, looked into the couple's eyes and said, Be like fighting dogs, your relationship will be good, quality and last forever. Now the people start thinking, or couples start thinking, these monks gone crazy. How the hell it helps to have better relationship? Next the man asks, how? The monk smiled and said, you can imagine a group of dogs fighting. When one dog overpowered, the rest of them walk away by making defeated noises. Thus as one of you could shut up when the other is angry, upset, or having a mind of argumentative, or having a mind of accusative, or having a mind of quarrelsome, talk when the anger ceases away. Then your, uh, then your relationship will be good, quality, and last forever. The couple smiled. They felt relief, and they respected the monk joined handedly and walked back to home uh, peace, happily. They applied their advices and lived together peacefully till the end of that breath. So here's the thing. I'm not trying to be a relationship expert or something, but I have seen, I have heard, and I have read people, many good couples and lovers putting full stop to their quality relationship, uh, marriages and romantic loves because of ego-mindedness or not being able to say sorry not being able to compromise remember Jay Shetty says love is all about compromises and also not being able to be water when the other is fire so be the water when the other is fire be the saint be the non-such be the apotheosis when the other is good goony goof goofy, foolish, or fool. Remember Buddha said, Nahi vera na vera ni shamanti da kudachana. Hey with hate never ceases, but hey with love always ceases. So the relationship.